What's the date today? 22nd of September. All right. September 22nd, 2014. We're here at that place for MCCP. Uh, we're raising money for the kids with cancer in Maine. 50 to 60 Maine kids every year uh, diagnosed with cancer. Right here at that place, we're at the $32,000 mark. Where are you? We're here. It's all going soon. Four fun-filled years. Maine Children's Cancer Program. They're on their way from Portland now as we speak. We'll get rid of this. We've, we're up to around 32,000. If you miss it, Chris. Ah, uh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go grab a bucket. I'm gonna go get some money, and then I'll shave my beard. Okay, Ricky will shave. Ricky will shave his beard. Ricky will shave his beard and his mustache when we get $500. In this Just call me Coolio. <laughs> Okay, listen up. Four years ago, for, four years ago, for absolutely no reason, I said I wasn't going to cut my hair. Loser! And, First cut! And as, and as the time went on, we had a baby. I listened to my mother bitch at me through the whole pregnancy and the birth of how stupid I looked. I've combed my hair. I've had my, my scalp has been raw. I and then a friend of mine, his son, got leukemia. And this is Bennett. what I was going to do. But the Barbara Bush Pediatric Cancer Unit and the Maine Children's Cancer Program made me see which way we were going to go. And I'll tell you right now, I have been online every day for three weeks watching the MCCP walk. And it's their 28th annual walk. And they went all year. I made more in three weeks than they made all year. Fifty to sixty main kids are diagnosed with cancer every year. This is the greatest cause. They're the future workers, residents, taxpayers, property owners, business owners in the state of Maine. And friends. One of the greatest places to live, raise a family. <laughs> As, as my team here, uh, Tara Studley and Elise Maloney, um, who work with me in the Maine Children's Cancer Program, as they will attest, um, I do not, I am not speechless very often, uh, and I feel truly, truly um, humbled by this. Uh, we, we work damn hard uh, to raise money for the kids and their families at Maine Children's Cancer Program, and it's not easy. Uh, you know, we all, I could wax lyrical about the economy, um, but when you get when you when you are truly blessed like we are to work with the families um, and the kids and all the all the physicians, the social workers at Maine Children's Cancer Program, it really gets you. You know, it becomes more than a job. Um, Sixty kids are diagnosed right here in Maine every year with cancer. That doesn't even count the hundreds of kids who are uh, diagnosed with blood disorders. Um, there's a big difference when your kid is diagnosed with cancer. Um, having to go down to all the way to, down to Boston Children's, which is a wonderful, wonderful hospital. But the fact that kids right here in Maine can stay here in Maine is, is something that we should all be very, very proud of. And I mean...
receive the same, if not better, care that they will at any other organisation, any other hospital in the country. Um, so anyway, so I got a call a few weeks ago uh, from a guy called Rick Dolliver. <laughs> so you might have heard of him. Um, and I'm like, who the heck? <laughs> so anyway, so this guy was, uh, was sounded pretty determined. He, he, he had very long hair. He'd been growing it for a very long time. His wife was desperate for him to cut it. <laughs> and he wanted to raise a lot of money for, for kids with cancer. And so we, we drove down here. Um, great pleasure to meet him. And uh, anyway, the rest is history. Hold on, hold on. We just got another $1,500 donation. Yay! 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 Woo! Woo! Yay! 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 Now she was the first donation. Okay. You got one too, Bennett. Yeah! Yeah! Thank <laughs> you.